What's up guys? Graham here playing some more Sentinel action and I'm trying to do as much testing as I can on it because uh, Meeps gave me this build and I'm wanting to make sure that I know all the ups and downs of this before I make a guide for you guys. So we do a lot of testing. Uh, you'll see that uh, hopefully I'll have a couple of build vi uh, a couple of Warfront videos out during this week so that you guys can see that I spent about a week testing any new build that is given to me that I'm thinking about this making a video blood. on. So I already know a couple of flaws that I have with how I've changed around the macros so I gotta change that eventually here. Keep doing testing so that I present to you guys a good finished product. Alright so it seems like we're we're just running over them right now. No problems at all. Okay, easy enough. These guys are just dying everywhere. It's pretty nice. And they're jumping down like two at a time, one at a time, that kind of thing. So, yeah. All right, not too much going on in this warfront right now. Hope it isn't too boring. I want to be able to make a video out of it. Healing in itself is kind of boring to watch a lot of times for a lot of people. So, yeah, if we have a real stale match as well, then it'd make a very bad video. Oh, okay. So one of our guys ran the stone up the left side, it looks like, and died over there. And we all went up the right side with the other stone, so... Yeah, I guess he tried to sneak it around. A lot of times it does work. Uh, like the enemies will all come over to our side here and try to defend. But then the other guy is able to sneak around and cap the other side. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What is our guy doing here? Aw, uh, don't fight the guy with the shield, man. No, no, that is such a waste of time. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down. They should get the hint. They don't need to be fighting that guy with the shield. Alright, get him healed up. Uh, don't run off. Don't. Ah, uh, he lined. He got too much distance on me. And I can't heal him now. Now I'm getting debilitated. Oh, he's got the stone too. What are you doing, man? Come back. Well, he's dead. And now I'm probably going to get dead. Oh, uh, what is it? Three people chasing me? Yeah, I don't have the gear to survive this. Look at all the dots on me, man. Reaver dots and everything. There's no way I was going to survive that. Uh, maybe if I had better gear, I'd have a little bit better of a chance, but still, three people DPSing you down, one being a Reaver, uh, that's going to debuff my healing, yeah, probably not going to happen. Alright, let's get our buffs back up here. But yeah, I'm trying to do as much testing as possible on this build, because this weekend, I'm hoping to have this Sentinel build out for you guys to see. And uh, have a build video and also uh, announce the results of the last giveaway that we did like three weeks ago. <laughs> I apologize for it being so long between whenever we announce the giveaway and whenever we're doing the, the results. Oh man, I was going to jump down there and help our guy, but he already died. But yeah, just work has been swarming me. I'm actually thinking about quitting it, so we'll see how that goes. Thinking about telling them, sorry man, I can't come in anymore. I'm making YouTube videos. <laughs> that might be a hard thing to do considering like uh, the, the periods that I haven't been able to make videos lately. Like all the donations that I was getting has stopped. Completely stopped. I think I've gotten like a $10 donation in three weeks or something like that, so... Yep. No love for the Grim whenever he gets busy. 
All right, so uh, I forgot to mention that I have a couple of guildies in here with me since they're running around in front of me. It makes me think of them. Uh, one of them is Now You See Me. And, yeah, I just seen him. So, and then the other one is Chebik. Chebik is, is pretty much our longest uh, or oldest guild member, so to say. Uh, he joined whenever the guild was just starting. He was watching my live stream before then, so he's been in the guild for years, man. I think I've had the guild around for about two years now. So, yeah, he's been he's been with me ever since. All right, so it's not that hard of a war front so far. This is kind of uh, standard healing here. Stay behind the team, get everybody healed up. Just can't let them gain too much momentum because if they start really overpowering our guys in the middle, it's hard to sway that momentum back the other way. So get divine favor on this guy and get the heals pouring in oh man and our guys were really focusing on that tank to bring him down what the heck man well at least the tank is down I, I hate to see a tank even die why are we targeting the tank oh well Try to get this assassin guy all healed up. Now you see me is on a killing spree. Gosh. The killer is getting killed. Trying my best to keep these guys alive, but they're taking a lot of damage. Rekasan. Ah, he's a healer in the front line right now. Why are you all the way up there, healer? You should be back. Healing. Killing spree. It's so much to pay attention to whenever you're playing a healing spec. Like, you've constantly got to be staring at the health bars. And then you got to look at the stuff around you. Uh, healers are kind of uh, a little more difficult, so to say, in that there's so many things to watch. And also, you're not moving with your mouse, really. I, I move with the, uh, the D-pad on my uh, Nostromo keypad and you just really don't get too much fun out of the movement and also it's it's like staring at health bars the entire time so I can see why people don't like playing healers a lot of times because it, it's a lot of work a lot of blame and uh, yeah not too much action and you get targeted a lot so Okay, somebody pick up the stone, man. Ah. Why would we let the stone go away? One of our DPS or something should have picked up that stone. I'm too busy healing trying to keep him alive. Alright, so we got one. The stone's back and our guy dies. Never mind, we don't have any of the stones. What are we going to do? Farm them up here? Seems like a good idea. But yeah, I've been working tons, man. I, I am so sick of working. And now they're talking about, like, next week I'm going to have, like, no days off and all this stuff. Ah. <sighs> Going back to the way it was, you know, whenever I pulled that 80-hour week just two weeks ago, I, I didn't have any days off. We're working 12-hour days or more and stuff like that. And, man, it was a bad deal. Okay, Dom, back off, man. There's no need for you to stick around here. Or is he sticking around because I'm sticking around? Okay. Well, let's back off and see if he backs off. No? Alright, man. You're on your own. I try to keep you alive, dude. I just can't do it all the time. And is he going to die? Is he going to survive? Oh, yeah, he died. 
I couldn't just sit up there, man. It was wasting my uh, wasting my healing potential. I could be out here with my team and healing them up. The enemies are all getting pretty low in health. It's that Shade Slayer there that they need to control. Oh, uh, always out of mana. Always, always out of mana. But I'm trying to get the whole uh, routine going where I slap on Divine Favor and then I do my heals and all that good stuff. It's almost like the prep before you do what you're wanting to do. Just like uh, Marksman or Ranger whenever you throw on the Barb Shot and all that. Uh, you got to do your preps before you do the main part of your uh, cycle. So, yeah, throw on some Divine Favor. Go ahead and pour on the heels afterwards, and it preps up your heels better. Uh, and, you know, with barb shot and stuff like that for uh, Ranger, you, you end up using that for your DPS increase. Well, this is my healing increase, pretty much. So... Alright, so, okay, our guys took over the, the stone carrier. We got another stone carrier up running by himself, and he's dead now. Uh, it's the same guy that keeps on trying to run up there and sneak cap it, which I understand it. You know, it works a lot of times. I've had people that ran up and just capped the stones over and over and ended up winning the game really fast because our whole team was down here fighting in the middle. And that one guy just kept running up by himself and not waiting on anybody and ends up winning the game. So that kind of makes it to where they want to keep doing that kind of stuff like this guy is doing where he tried to run it up there multiple times now by himself or with just one other person. Okay, the enemy's got both the other stones. Man, this is dragging out to be a long war front. Only three minutes left, man. Yep, three minute warning right there. Three minutes remaining. It like wears you down uh, staring at the health bars and worrying about people dying and all that stuff. It wears you down. Kind of tires you out. You know, Chabic always runs pyro spec and does really well with pyro usually. So... Hopefully he'll produce some good killing numbers as well as now you see me. Make me proud, team. Make me proud. Yeah, but... No, gosh, man. You look at all the damage that was being poured on me. It was like 5,000, 5,000, 4,000. Man, I just can't take a hit. My gear is atrocious. It's all being bolstered. But getting getting better all the time. Every time I run a Warfront, it seems to upgrade my gear, so to say. Alright. Man, this is a long match. Alright, less than two minutes left. We just got to prevent them from capping one more time, because if they cap, then it's going to be that tie. I think it gives them the win. We're really going to lose out. So, we got to keep our... Uh, where we have the two stones capped and they only have one. That way we get the win here. Because I need the gear, man. I need the gear. If I would have more time to play, like, my characters, all of them would be geared out by now. <sighs> Such a terrible thing, knowing that my guys need to be geared out and I don't have the time for it. Alright. Enough whining. Uh, if you guys do not know about my other channel, make sure you check it out, by the way. Might as well talk about it while we're waiting on this yep. match to end, basically. Oh, no, 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 no. Savior. Guys are taking a lot of damage down there. Let's get them healed up. Ooh. Right. Couldn't save the Dom there. Well, that's the match. But yeah, if you guys have not checked out my other channel, make sure you do. I have it in the description below this video. And uh, go check out all the action I have in other games. So let's see here. I went 1.4 million heals. 
Um, Chebik went 11 and 2, and Now You See Me went 10 and 0. Very good job, guys. Great teamwork. We pulled off the win. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.